Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Aquarius, this is a weekly collective tarot reading session for you, Aquarius. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Aquarius sign. This is for the Aquarius friends out there. Let us see what is happening towards you. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know. This is for the Aquarius sign. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Yes, viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. This reading for today, this is for the Aquarius sign. We will pick up love, career, finance, and general situation for you, Aquarius. Let's see what's coming towards you. What's the message for Aquarius, please? Okay. Ten of Swords. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups. Ooh, Three of Swords. Hmm. We got Six of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles. The Six of Cups. You're missing someone. The Nine of Wands. The King of Cups. And the Ace of Pentacles. And the Death card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Hmm. So I'm hearing the word fearless. Okay. Um, the Death card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. There is a part of you, Aquarius, where... You are done with all of the, because I'm seeing a lot of snakes in here, snakes, okay. You're, you're done with cheating yourself, you know, like you want to let go. You want to let go of, you want to let go, you know, you, you want to be done, okay. You want to be done and let go of something, a part of you, you know, some. There, there's a part of you, okay, there's a part of you, Aquarius, that you would like to let go, the death card, you know. There is a flaw in you, something that you're not proud of, something of, something of a part of you, and it's connected in the past, and it's preventing you to really be happy, or to really maximize, or to live your full potential, okay? Um, you're making peace, you know, the death card, I'm seeing the flowers in here. You're making peace to your decision in the past. You've learned a lot and you're letting go of a part of you that is preventing you to be happy or it's preventing you or it's limiting you to reach your full life potential. Um, in the death card, I pick up that you've you know you've realized that you've burned bridges you you know disconnected remove um there's some part of your decision making connected to family or friends or life that you're not very proud of but that's okay you're making peace of your mistake and you're letting go of that attitude that belief system um something that you're not proud of and you are going to renew you know like a because the death card is about ending and a beginning. So you're going to start all over again in a thinking, in a feeling, in a vibe where, you know, I need to change. If I want my life to be better, I also need to change for the better, you know. Okay, sorry. I've got a message with somebody. So yeah, it's a wake-up call for you. Yeah, it's a, it's a wake-up call that if I don't change then my life wouldn't change so that's a very big up big wake up call for you aquarius okay um but this is a this is a very big awareness you have this huge awareness that if i don't change if i don't let go of this part of me something that i'm not i'm not proud of then i i wouldn't really reach my full potential the love the life that i want the love that i want the career that i want death card you could be dealing with a scorpio okay all right so more okay let's pick up more intuitive message you've got a ten of swords yeah this is an ending an ending of a bad cycle an ending of you you know an ending that you're not proud to be involved an ending of a cycle where 
you didn't like what you become or what you felt towards that cycle. And Nine of Cups, you're very happy that you've realized that, okay, this cycle has taught me a lesson. This person, this experience, this situation, it has taught me a lot of lesson. It's a big failure, but it's also a big, big learning. Nine of Cups, there is something very proud and very experienced, you know. Now you can really say, okay, I've experienced the worst and I know how to deal with the person, the situation. You've got a Three of Swords in here. You're confident to deal with the Three of Swords. If in the past you're having difficulty um, dealing with a Three of Swords, whether it's a heartbreak or whether, whether it's a disappointment or something that's, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not right. You know, Three of Swords is it's the most difficult, you know, the Three of Swords is the most difficult energy to deal with because it involves, you know, a heavy betrayal or very disappointing person, people, situation. This is where you're going to start to have a change. This is where you're going to change is to deal with this. Because you, you, you're very, with the Nine of Cups, you're very confident. You're confident that, after all, I'm still here. I've survived. Why not change something of me? Let go of something. Let go of a part of you that made you disappoint yourself. Because there's a part of this reading where I am here because I made the wrong choice and I've disappointed myself. So let me have a nine of cups. You know, let me relax. Let me think about it. Let me just figure things out because I now have a confident in how to deal with the Three of Swords. So you now can face the person, the situation, the difficulty, the Three of Swords. Because in the past, you weren't able to deal with that. So you're removing a part of you that wasn't brave enough to storm or to deal with the Three of Swords. And I tell you, you're going to deal with it. You know, you're going to fix it, deal with it, get on with life. You know, it's more of what is life after a Three of Swords? What is life after you, after this experience, after this cycle? You want to get on with your life. And you want to get on with it, you know, Six of Wands bravely, confidently. Like you wear your badge confidently that I've survived this bad cycle. And I'm going to deal with the Three of Swords differently because I've become a different person. The center of the reading is the Knight of Pentacles. You will still pursue what you want. You will still offer, pursue, do whatever you want. You know, you have no limit. You know, you are you, Aquarius. You know, like you have a pledge to yourself to do what you want and to chase what makes you happy in a respectful, peaceful, without hurting anybody. And to deal with the pain and hurt and struggle in such a way that you will, you know, you will have an equal opportunity to other people and to yourself. Like, you want to be fair with yourself in here. You know, you really want to give yourself a chance to be happy by removing a part of you that's limiting you to be happy, to do what you want, to be ambitious. There's, a, there's a, some sort of a big upgrade in here. Because in this reading... If you want something, it will involve a three of swords, a big risk, um, a big failure. But in that failure, you will learn. So you get back, you get get up, resiliency, and then move ahead. In this reading, that's what you learn. Yep, I experienced a three of swords, major failure, disappointed. But I won't stop. You know. So something in here is about you, your courage, your braveness. Something about Something about being brave, being confident to face your fear, to face what's out there, to face your limit in here. So you become, I'm, I'm, I'm really picking up that, you know, in the next three months, you will be spontaneous. You would be unstoppable. You would be limitless. You're going to deal with problem and you're looking for a solution. You will, you won't just give up. You will, you will really de deal with difficulty because you realize six of cups, six of ones. If you deal with difficult person, people, situation, the reward is big. And you're very, you're thinking process that there's always a solution to a problem. Okay. Now, the person, the situation, the energy connected to you 
is the Knight of Wands. They will be waiting for you. There's someone in the past, there's an energy, that there is a situation in the past who's ready to face you again. And you will face each other again. You know, you've got an Ace of Pentacles in here. Um, you have an offer. You have an opportunity to face a lover, to face a person who's very special to you, to deal with that exact issue, error, problem, situation in the past. But the thing is, you're dealing with the same person, the same situation, but you're a different Aquarius now. I don't want, you know. It's kind of, it's, it's a reading where the universe will give you an offer. The universe will test your confidence. The universe will test you and whatever you pledge, you gave yourself that, okay, I'm going to deal with it. Okay, let me give you this offer. This is a big offer. This is a person that you love. This is an ambition that you love. This is something really close to your heart. But it has a problem. But if you fix the problem, you're going to have an amazing Ace of Pentacles and King of Cups. Not only that you love this person or situation, but there's also big, big money or big, big productivity or big, big... Because you know, Ace of Pentacles is about stability, sec security. So the universe will give you a return. With this confidence and braveness and you know how to do it. Okay, let's do some practice, Aquarius. An offer will come to you. An offer close to your heart. An offer that will give you security, longevity. An offer that will last for for a very long time. But there is a little bit of plot twist in here. There's a three of swords. You've changed. And because you've changed, the dynamic that you provide with this company, person, situation, it's different. It's more confident. So deal with the offer, the person, the situation with confidence. With the aim that I'm going to fix it, that I can do it. Because it, it's returning to you. It's a return. It's a big return, I'd say. It This situation, person, it did not return. Like it returned for you and only for you. For you, for you to be successful, not to drop it off, okay? So, yeah. Soon, you will realize, okay, I've got this offer again. I'm given a second chance. What will I do this time around to make it mine, to make it fully mine, to embrace it and never let it go? I leave you that question because there's so much confidence in you and so much experience coming from you that you can deal with this, you know? Like you can deal with it in the past. You cannot. In the past, it seems to be this one is not ready. But it came back. Knight of Wands. You can deal with this now. You can fix the issue. There is a, there's a flaw in the person, in the situation. But you're a different person. You can deal with this now. And if you deal with it, you've got something amazing. You've got something wonderful. You've got something that you want for quite some time now. You know, it came now or soon in a version of yourself where you're very proud of where you're, you're very brave it, it, it's it's a reading where i'm gonna give it back to you aquarius because you can handle it now so prepare let's see what you got aquarius could be a lover could be a job it could be both for some of you guys but it's it's life-changing you know most especially you're coming from an energy where i've changed i can do it now very proud and loud okay so thank you aquarius this is your reading thank you so much for being here i will see you soon again guys you have a great day